Hello, my name is JP Hofseth, and I'm going to do a playthrough of Moose Llama, Team Moose Llama for Capstone Project Haunt. So let's get going. They have a nice splash screen. Just a little bit. There we go. Was the left mouse this attack, smoke bomb, is center mouse button, E to interact, spacebar to jump. Nice, simple. There we go. That's not the normal attack. Interesting. Menu. Sign shadows, target trigger level, target lock level. Okay. Two more levels. Uh, let's just try the main level right now. Okay, shift runs. Was that on the? No way to look at my buttons, huh? That was not listed. Shift does run though. Okay. Yeah, no way to check out controls in game. Okay. Fence that I can walk through. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, in that case, can I go through the gate? Nope. Trees, trees. Pitcher, what's the pitcher? Uh, when I played this last time, the picture took me someplace. Still does, okay. On to the tree, okay. Alright, can I hurt you? Haha. -ha. Like we keep slashing by each other. Ah. Print screen, normal attack hit, normal attack. Hmm. Am I supposed to be able to combo? Fence still doesn't block me. Okay. No, there's health. Hmm. Interesting. Another enemy spawned. We can destroy the door. Pick up health. Don't get a bonus attack for hitting him in the back. Okay. More damage. Now I'm kind of stuck in the corner and can't get hmm. Kind of rushed me in the corner. Okay. Let's try some of the other levels. Newer levels. What's this? Nice bamboo, nice effect. The lighting. Not sure what that did. Interesting noise. Let's 
just taking a minute to get used to. the natural pattern in which they get knocked away puts them off to the side so they don't get to combo a lot okay Looks like you might be using a collider on the sword instead of a line trace. All right. So I'm not sure what the purple things are. I walked over that health. It didn't seem to really help. seems like their attacks don't need to be as precise as mine. Still not sure what the purple thing does. Can I, like, chop through this? Nope. Okay, that's just there to tease me. So what was that other direction? Before my next swing comes across, they hit me back. About time I was able to get the full combo on. Alright. Still not sure what the purple thing does. Okay. Sharpness? Does the sword have some sharpness to it? I feel like I should be able to end my combo somehow. Because it's like I get locked into it. Entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing, but that's all right. Prototype level and all. See, there the purple thing goes away. I take it. When I got it the other time, I didn't do anything. Sharpness goes down. Ah, sharpness. Okay, that brought the sharpness back up that time. Okay, I feel like I should get a bonus for hitting him in the back. That would be a sneak game more than this. This doesn't seem more sneak. This is more samurai fight up close. Hmm. Okay, come on, menu.
interesting. Why does it go back up? Like when I approach it, it goes. Yeah, it doesn't need to go back up. That seems like a slight glitch there. Hmm. That or it's supposed to be timed and I don't know it's timed somehow. Maybe some sort of indicator to the player this is timed, noise or something. Just something. Uh, that looks like the pitcher box. Takes me here. What's this? walk through the stairs. It's supposed to be some sort of jumping platform. Get over to that area maybe? Don't know. Okay. Let's try the target. What does the target do? No noise, no visual, no nothing. I seem stuck in this area. Hmm. I feel like I need a jab so I can hit the target without having to do this full animation of the swing that takes a minute for it to come back around. Why does my sharpness go down if I don't even hit anything? The blade isn't going to lose sharpness by being swung through the air. That's kind of annoying. I'm not sure what to do now. Um, can I get up on here somehow, some way? Is there supposed to be something I do in this target area? Doesn't look like it. I guess restart it. Do I go down a different path? Target will trigger the level, target lock level. Let's try the target lock level. Mm. Press F while facing an enemy to lock on to an enemy. Oh, okay, that works. I was actually hoping there'd be some sort of locking. Try out the dummies, okay. I was thinking that's what was missing from the earlier combat is some way to lock onto my enemy. Okay. Yep, that keeps them. Does F unlock? Nope, just walking out of a certain range. Okay. Ooh. Little camera funkiness going on there. Maybe because I tried to lock on a multi one. Defeat the enemies, I had to open the gate. Okay, there's the gate. Nice and laid out. Yes. Thank you for the lock. <laughs> Locking makes it so much easier. I need the lock. I need a roll or something to get away. Like a dodge. Sidestep or something. Well, there's a lot more enemies than I realized. Okay, let's go over this way. Start with you. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Have a little fun with it. Okay. 
Can I just switch? Nope. Well, now I'm stuck. I keep getting stuck on collisions between like trees and it's like once I get stuck between a couple of them, it's hard to get out. That side swipe there should have really have. Why can't. Okay, turn around. Come on. There we go. I like the lock indicator. That's really nice. Giant cherry blossom trees provide healing to the player when they are close to it. Oh, and it glows. Nice. Hang out by the cherry blossoms. I love cherry blossoms. They're, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful trees. <sighs> Gonna fully heal. Gonna wait till it's done. There we go. Alright. Um, up the ramp. Ooh. Okay, that's more of a jump than I realized. their deaths <laughs> I will say I do love love the concept of this game um, there's obviously certain things that need to be done with the targeting as far as the targeting here for the enemy is actually really well but with the target mechanic on the last level and the somewhat of a delay it seems like between everything going on it's like I got trapped in that one spot, and it kind of makes you not want to go back to that level. Oop. Random weird wall. Oh, can I aggro everybody? Will they just keep following me? Will they never stop following me? Let me check. Yep. They'll hunt me down no matter where I go, huh? I can't outrun them. I can't break my... Nope. Okay. See that first, I hit him first and then, or her first, excuse me, I still get knocked. Hmm. Interesting game. Um, I like some of the aspects of what you've got so far, the targeting for the combat, definitely, definitely need that. Um, feel like some of the other mechanics seem a little need a bit more refinement um, there's not enough audio video f or visual feedback for some of it um, especially with that that target mechanic it's like I hit it I don't hear sound of me hitting it I don't hear the wall going down or anything and there wasn't that much time between when it went down and when I was supposed to go through should have been maybe a second or more of that. Um, and honestly, I wasn't really don't really remember what the other one was. Silent shadows. Still not quite sure what's going on with this. If that's just the sharpness, um, the purple thing there at the beginning, or or what all is going on with this one. Um, I'm not sure what your mechanic is here. The gates are nice. Uh, can I lock on here? Oh, nice. That'll help with the rest of these levels. Okay. Now that I know I can do that, I might go through a bit more of these. Because that'll make the combat a little bit better for me, a little bit easier.
I wish there was some roll mechanic or some dodge mechanic, some way I could get away from them, especially once they're in a group. It seems like it's hard to get away from them. Let's see, that has a nice audio sound. It seems like we could have that a few more places. I know some people might say they want a ranged mechanic. To be honest, you don't need a ranged on this. This game is good the way it is with the uh, fighting this way. Just wish there was a way to parry or maybe block. Like maybe have right click block. Put up a block maneuver for them. I think that would work really nice. Uh, let's try that middle scroll button. It's supposed to be. Let's see the middle. Ah. That activates that. Okay, that's what that purple thing was. Okay. And then it goes away. Okay. Is that more? Nope. Okay. Health, obviously. Oh, wait, yeah, that other purple one's the sharpness. That's right. Yeah, this. Because I'm like mid combo and they're able to hit me. There should be like a combo break thing that pops up. Combo breaker. Now ah, that's more of a fucking game, not really this game style. I do wish I got a bonus for hitting him in the back though. <laughs> bit more ninja style than what this is going for. This seems to be much more samurai style than ninja style and I can respect that. So what are these purple ones for? Because they don't seem to Okay. Do I like prolong that? Nope. It stays that way until I kill someone, maybe? it a bit of a stealth aspect. So the tall purple ones are the sharpness. Ah. Okay. The other ones ignore me when I'm in that mode. I need some sort of timer or something that lets me know how long I'm in that mode. Maybe even just the person starts flashing back to the other material right before they come back in that mode. That'd be nice. Just something. OK, 
camera freaks out a little bit in the lock mode. I will be honest with that lock mechanic of being able to lock and actually attack the player, uh, attack the enemy better, makes this game much more palatable for me. Before not having that, it's like I get overrun really easily. It's hard to know if I'm in line with hitting the person or not. Now all I need is a slight dodge on the when I'm able to do that. Or parry or something. <laughs> My dust is still there. Interesting. Assume I have to kill everyone here. Uh, let's go to the left. This fence blocks me. None of the other fences blocked me. That's weird. Grab the health. There we go. There we go. Be nice to have some sort of audio when I run over those two that I'm collecting them. A little bit of an audio feedback there. Like that. That had a nice audio feedback. Don't know why the health doesn't. All right. I assume the mission on all these boards is just massacre the, the lot of them, but it doesn't seem like there's actually anything that says to. Looks like we got tents going on here, ancient Chinese or Japanese style of moving the armies. Actually, everyone used tents back in the day, but these tents look like they were modeled after that. I'm trying to think of the name of that game this reminds me of. Shadow something. I'll have to look it up. Maybe drop it on the comments for the video. But definitely the targeting helps a lot with the combat. Makes me actually want to play the game more through. Ooh. You seem big. Run, run. Find more shadow bombs. Ha ha. Can't see me now, can ya? Nice. So for now, I'm slightly in the sky, if you notice. <laughs> Not sure what caused that little glitch there, but I am constantly at an angle now. 
That's awesome. Alright. That makes me feel better that I actually completed a level. <laughs> Alright. Um, definitely, definitely leave the targeting in. Without that targeting, it's going to be way too hard of a game, in my opinion, to even warrant my time. Um, I like the shadow the shadow bomb I like the targeting um, like I said the, the 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 little targets that are connected to what seems to be the bamboo walls um, need some sort of audio feedback on that something that lets me know hey this is moving and seem like a, a few more seconds on able to get it through them um, great game I want to see where it goes so far I love it um, and look forward to seeing what else you guys do so I, I hope I hope my thoughts, I know I don't talk a lot while I play, um, I try to concentrate on playing, but I did enjoy it, so um, keep going with it, keep doing what you can, look forward to seeing more from you.